Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast, baby. This is episode number 41. And if you can't tell, I'm over here working on the sideways, upside down, left and right house. And things are coming along. It's coming along just fine. Uh, I've got pretty much a good majority of the, the hardest part done. Um, it's been, it's not been easy. I'll say that much. It's not been an easy task. Uh, it's definitely, definitely difficult, but hmm, we do it. We do it. It's, it should pay off, I think. Uh, it's definitely a cool idea. Making it function is going to be another one of those crazy challenges. Like, how, how do we make this work now? Um, and you guys will see a little bit more of that. Uh, as I kind of, I'll, I'll tour you through the place here in a moment. <clears throat> very good, very good. But this is kind of an idea. As you can see, we're building the supports for this thing. But for right now, they are going to be sideways. Um, okay, get that guy. That guy. It's definitely been a fun challenge. I'll say that much. As far as, like, I like challenging myself with, with building and stuff. So, um... Although this, is, although this is a style that I've gotten a little uh, pretty familiar with now, uh, it's still something that's been uh, a nice a nice challenge to take on. And it looks like hmm, we're going to come into the roof here a little bit. That'll still be fine. That'll be fine. Come down here. Boink. Bring this guy down. And we could just lop it off. Do 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 there and there and there yeah that'll work that'll work got to do the same thing here um but yes so last episode what was i going to refer to last episode oh okay so there was a big controversy at, at one point in the video something flew across my screen when i was looking up into the sky <laughs> and everybody was wondering what was that and I didn't say anything but as it went across my screen I was wondering the same thing like what did I just witness what did I see was that a UFO or what was that uh, in editing I looked over it again and realized that it was simply just one of the bees uh, that generic has running from his test bee setup and it just tra it was a traveling bee it made itself it made its way quite a ways over i was i was kind of far away like i was there but the bee came from all the way over there uh so a little bit of a travel for it but it was good it was good that's what it was it was not a ufo it was not okay let's get that guy there and that guy there i say and that should do us. That should do us just fine. Maybe one right there. And probably the same thing here. Oh. oh, oh. That's not going to be easy. Not in the least. Right there. There we go. Gorge. Okay, so there she blows. Here's kind of what we're looking like. Step back, step back. And I think it's coming along. Now, I don't know if you heard me talking to Generic about it last time, if I mentioned it or not, but I thought would be cool to, like, at this point, cut it in half and have part of it hanging down as if the house had broken in half. But functionally, that's not good. Uh, we want this house to remain semi-functional, so... You know, having a straight shoot like this, a semi-straight shoot, is going to be best for that. And boom. Do, do you get the feeling, though? Like, feel how weird... Check how weird that feels. Like, it really does feel like we are sideways in this house. Um, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I've never actually really walked through like this. But man, like, if you think... 
that that's the floor. If you realize that's the floor and this is the roof. Oh, whoa. <laughs> True literal vertigo. I'm getting it. I'm getting literal vertigo. Like I feel, you know that feeling like you're going to fall down, like you're like you're about to tip over. This feels awesome. Oh man. Let's do it again. It's too fun. Like, here's the floor. We should be standing on it, but we're not. Think about we should be standing on this. We're not. We're walking. We're walking. We're on the... Oh! Oh. Some of you that aren't experiencing the feeling that I'm feeling right now probably think I'm insane. But, uh... Oh, it's good. This is cool. So, that's exciting. I'm pretty happy about this now. Um... So, 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 now, a lot of people, I keep getting this same tweet over and over, people saying for ladders, use wooden tracks. For your vanilla texture packs, it's a great solution. You are absolutely right. But, wooden tracks look like this in my texture pack, and that looks nothing like a ladder, unfortunately. Um... Regular tracks, maybe. But man, they're so expensive. Wooden rails, wooden rail bed. And you gotta have creosote for that. Don't have it. Don't have it. So, yeah, it's okay. I, I don't like this, though. I don't like this. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's try out... Boom, boom, blam. Let's try this out. There I go, throwing my thing again. Let's try this out for the ladder. See how this does. Boom, bink, bonk. Because this is not working for me. I mean, it obviously looks like a ladder, but as far as Minecraft is concerned, it doesn't really... <gasps> doesn't really represent a ladder too well. Let's check this. Boink. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better as far as a ladder is concerned. I am down with that. You down with the Opie beep? You know me. Let's take this. Bring this guy over. Bam. Might be able to finish this off like this. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. Yeah, that looks better. That's a better looking ladder right there. That'll do the trick. We glitched through there a little bit. That's okay. Okay, yes. We're getting the feel. Torches, unfortunately, are going to face a weird direction. That's just going to have to happen, but you really don't notice it too much. Um, boink, boink, there we go, one there and there, mm-hmm, yep, that'll work, maybe one there, yeah, that works, that works, I wonder if that'll take away from that vertigo feeling, like it starts to give you, you a sense of, oh yeah, this is how this is actually, yeah, mm. I don't really like that. Go away. Um, but, okay, did I make something up there? I did. I did. So, we've got kind of, I've got something over here. And we should be able to knock this out. Yes, we can. Very good. Um, why is nothing there? Oh, well, I suppose what we'll do, we'll make... Just this log goes straight through. What's this log doing? Yes, we can do that. We can do that. Boom, 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 boom. That'll work. Uh, <laughs> got that. And let's take this bad boy out. Very good. Take that out. And let's do the same 
here. That's fine. Boink, boink, mm, mm. Very good. So now we've got a little room here. Oh my gosh. Like, how dizzy are you right now? Oh my gosh. Because I know, like, I've spent so much time in those other houses. I know how this is supposed to go. And, uh, oh, I know what I'll do for lighting. I know exactly what I'll do. Ooh, let's take care of that right now, actually. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put the wool. I put wool on top of these things. I think that worked out flawless. As far as making them look like grass. Well, not necessarily flawless, but pretty well. Uh, I've had a couple of thunderstorms during this time, so I'm anxious. I want to check with you guys. I want to check out the situation with the um, UU matter and things of the sort. Okay, what do we want? We want a little bit of glowstone. Mm-hmm. Three is fine. We want a little bit of redstone. How about all that? And... Whew. I know I've got some dyes around here somewhere. Aha, they're up here, right? Ooh, here's some of these guys, okay. Aha, uh -huh, here's some dye. Now is this green? It's lime. Inverted lime, okay, good. So these are lamp. We need some Lumars, which you make like that, da, 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 da. very good. Two of them makes one, so we'll make a couple. Just make a few, three. Let's make three. And that'll make us three lamps, too, I believe. Cool. And if I'm not mistaken, I saw some fences up here. And there. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Bam. Some glass panes. Do we have... Aha! There's a couple in here already. We're going to need some more. Any glass panes around? The place is... Um, it could be a little more organized. It's not terrible, okay? I'm not good. I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna hate. Is uh is okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, great. It's terrible. It looks horrific. Okay, very good. And so we will go. We need some redstone torches and some stone slabs. Stone of any sort. One, two, three. That'll work. That will work. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Ah, we just put it in there. Very good. Uh huh. We need three redstone torches. Some sticks. Get it. And we should be good. We should have everything. I dropped my sticks. I feel it. Get those guys there. And the Lumar guys. And that gives us four. Okay, that's good for now. Um, but now I can kind of show you guys what I was thinking. Jetpack good, jetpack good. Place is looking good. It's making sense. Once we get this arm turned to basalt. Basalt. Oh boy, I'm nervous about how I say it now because somebody posted something on the Reddit kind of straightening us out on how to pronounce it. Okay, so. We'll put one. Let's put one here. That won't be in the way. And yes. This will do it. Um, we just want to put them to where they won't be in the way. We want them to light the area. This will make you feel crazy right here. 
if you put a, a roof on this and then put that there, that's going to make you feel like, oh, like that's hanging from, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and let's see. Where's the middle here? I think the middle would fall right here. Yeah. That's good. Get this out of here. So we will not use torches in here. If we don't have to, we'll use those lamps. And that's going to give a crazy, crazy feeling. Oh, man. Yep. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So you got, oh, you guys get the idea. Well, what is this? That is part of the hand there. And that's the fingers wrapping around. Somebody said plant a tree on it. Yeah, could. It's a possibility. Possible. Yikes. <laughs> you guys, are you guys throwing up? Uh, do not sit. Go in. Go in there, dog. Oh, see, that was a problem. That was not good. We don't like that. How hard that was to get out of there. <clears throat> um, but what we're going to do is take a quick commercial break. My wife just started taking a shower, so I hear the water heater working. Um, so we're going to take a quick commercial break, let the water heater shut up, and then we'll be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you saw last episode, I had a little trouble with my mouse from slamming it on the ground. Uh, that has gone away. That went away. I restarted the computer and unplugged and re-plugged in the mouse and boom, fixed, works perfect. But I still don't like my mouse because, see you Michael, because, pardon me. I don't like my mouse because the scroll wheel is whacked. Like, see, if I want my axe right now, depending on whether I've just cleaned the mouse wheel today or not, I will usually scroll this direction to get my axe because sometimes, now right now I'm not having trouble, but it just takes forever. And especially if I'm a creative, sometimes the mouse wheel will click because it gets stuck and it'll make me pick a block and it's blech. It's not fun. So, I was a little excited for a moment. I was like, oh, yes, it's broken. I can get a new mouse. You know? But, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't broken. Still going to get a new mouse. Um, but, okay, so we're over here. Doo -doo -doo. Let's check this out. Let's see what we got going on down here. Talk to me. Tell me your name. Yes. Diamond. Who needs diamond? Who needs diamond? <laughs> Who needs that? This? That garbage? Who needs that? I could make... Scroll up, please. There we go. Okay. I could make... Boom, bing, bong, bang, 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 bing, bong, boom. Diamond! I could make several. So shut it. What, iridium? For real? Okay, no problem. Yes. Look at all this. Snowballs, no problem. But you know what the end goal is, what we want to make out of these bad boys. That's for sure. These guys right here. And we got we could potentially make a plethora right there. Could be eight. Awesome. And that's just off of... Who knows, a couple lightning storms that I've had today, which is great. Now, here's the other thing now. Uh, we want to potentially surround this thing in a couple more lightning rods. And do, do just go straight up. Straight up. Lightning rod. Generic made the first one. Lightning rod. <sighs> 
Super con condensator. That's expensive. That's pretty expensive. These energy flow circuits, no problem. Lat Lapatronic energy orb, yes, can can make. Um, highly advanced machine block can make. No problem. Titanium ingots, chrome ingots can make. And that's just an advanced machine block in there, right? Go. Roll it. Roll it. Yeah, advanced machine block can make. Very good. Now these guys... Uh-huh. Can make. Gold. Glass fiber can do. Iridium plates. No problem. So... What I will probably use this UU matter for is some iridium. I mean, generic has gotten quite a bit, but of course these lightning rods take a lot. Um, let's see what we've got for iridium right now. Go up and check out the old place. Where are we? Um, what's going on in here? Nothing special right now. Boo, boo, boo. Aha, he's getting some chrome dust. Good. Is it called chrome dust and it was originally ruby dust? Oh, ruby dust turned into chrome dust. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm-hmm. Tons of garbage. Aluminum dust. Very good. Let's go on upstairs. Let's check it out. Because he's got... Whew, he's got some stuff going on up there. Uh, as far as the tree thing goes, guys... Um, I'm kind of leaving it for the moment. Um, it's a fun thing to try. It's a fun thing to try, but as far as, whew, I mean, there's not much you can do with it. There's really not. It's, I know it's in development and, uh, hopefully, hopefully it gets, it gets a little further in its development, um, because... I've kind of seen kind of what the end game is for trees, and it's not, I mean, not from my own doing, but from other people, and eh, eh, more work than it's worth, possibly. So, only going to mess with the trees a little bit here and, and there. So let's get that back on, full power, full charge. Let's see what we got for iridium. Oh, wait, no, 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 right here, right, <clears throat> right here. 64 iridium nuggets, tiny pile of nickel dust, don't need that. 64 iridium nuggets, what are you talking about? Hello, yes, I'll take. I will turn all into, see, if this was vanilla right now, I could just, and it'd be done. It would be done. That's something that uh, Etho talked about in his last video. Ooh, yes. Um... You guys know Etho and I are very good friends, but I I tend to disagree with him a little bit on the um, Feed the Beast is basically uh, vanilla with just more stuff in it. I disagree a little bit just because I feel like, um, not really, not really. I, I think there's stuff in vanilla. Ooh, there's some iridium. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's stuff in in vanilla that um, well obviously because of the latest 1.5 which eventually feed the beast will get all the 1.5 features and that'll be great but um, you know in vanilla you're almost forced still can't do anything with that you're almost forced to look at all those ingots oh baby you're forced to find workarounds, which is part of what made Ethos stuff originally, and, and a lot of the, the other guys made it, made it so great and entertaining is like, you know, the, mon the mob farms, the original mob farms that he used to do. It's like, whoops, you're not supposed to be able to move mobs around, but Etho found a way, you know. Um, it was always really cool. Look at all the diamond dust. Holy cow. Oh, I guess we'll get some more chrome going. Um, so 
I think there's, for me at least, and everybody's different. Everybody's got their own opinion, and everybody, of course, is entitled to it for sure. This is not something worth having an argument over at all. But uh, for me, there's so much appeal and so much, like, the genius of seeing somebody make something work like it would in vanilla. Like AC Tennis, okay? AC Tennis, that, that little guy, he made a sorting system just like what you have on here nearly. Almost the exact same thing, except it's all in vanilla, you know? You put something in a chest, it sorts it out. Um, which is just so impressive. So impressive to me. Um, so, to me, vanilla really does have a, a huge appeal. And I saw somebody on the Minecraft Reddit said something like... Um, it said something... Maybe I had mistakenly said. I didn't intend to say this. But somebody said that I said that people were leaving vanilla um, mind crack that's not really what I mean like I don't mean they're gone like they're never coming back I'm just saying like they're they're kind of moving on to a different thing they're, look at all this holy cow let's help organize a little bit uh, they're moving on to the feed the beast here for right now which means they're when I if if I had said they're leaving vanilla Minecraft, I just kind of meant like they're leaving it, but for now, not forever. Um, of course, I don't know, you know, what everybody's doing and what they want to do, and that's totally up to everybody else. What do we got here? Copper dust, very cool. No more ruby dust, so. Oh, there might be some in here. These bees and the dust that they're making is just unbelievable. Okay, there's some dust over here. Uh-huh. We'll just put that there. Put that there. Holy Moses, guys. This is just unbelievable. Wow. Okay, so I guess what my next thing is, I'm going to... I've got two big projects that I'm working on right now. I'm working on the side, sideways house, getting that ready for... For Thongcraft. And you're not going to see me sitting at a magic wizard's desk. Putting stuff in it for hours and hours and hours. Um, I think that's one of the least entertaining parts of Thongcraft. Thongcraft just has some very cool um, little, you know, weapons and wands and stuff that you can get. So I think I'll do more of the... I'll, I'll get the stuff, even though you've seen most of it. Show you how it can be used and and uh, call it good there. So, almost done. Almost done with that Thom Tower. We're gonna call it the Thom, the B, the th B Thom, Thom, the Bomb Tower. Maybe. Um, is anybody else on the server? They're not. Oh, I could start up the Rainmaker, but I don't have any of that stuff. Um, but yeah. So I'm go I, I need to finish that up, and then I'm going to make a couple more lightning rods. And I'm going to work with Generic on getting the thermal uh, kind of setup worked out for the... Um, he's got this other power temp temporarily, temporarily set up in here. But this could be the thing that kind of runs the... Oh, yeah. It's down. He took it down. Well, I think he put this at his BFO, but um, I could kind of temporarily power the UU Matter Maker, the Matter Fabricator, as long as lightning isn't striking. So, anyway, another kind of little update video here, but I just wanted to show you guys about where we're sitting. I think it's coming along. I'm excited. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next episode. Did you guys throw up from that sideways house building? Because I almost did. If you did, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments. Did throw up come out of you when you were when we were doing that? If not, and you enjoyed the episode, feel free, you can like it. Hit a like button. Just any like button. 
but the one that's on the page that says like, that'll work. And then if you're brand new, you've never seen one of my videos or, or you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do that if you want to see more. In the big TV screen, the playlist to Feed the Beast, you can catch up all, on all the episodes there. In the bottom left is my last Minecraft video. Worked on the automatic wardrobe a little bit more and went off, did a little exploring and talked about the future of what I'm gonna be doing on the vanilla Minecraft server. The bottom right is my last building with B-double-O episode. Worked on making some faces, some castle building, all the good stuff.